I'm Tom Francis, this is the devlog number 3 for GHGC, a prototype I'm working on to see if it will be any good. And today, my third day working on it, I have made... Look, look, look. It's a grappling hook! <laughs> Several of you guessed it would be a grappling hook. I mentioned before that there would be no jumping in this game, and uh, somebody on the basis of that guessed that there would be a grappling hook in it. Somebody else noticed that there's a GH at the start of the title and assumed that stood for grappling hook, which was an interesting guess. Um, and they were right to assume that there would be one in there. So <laughs> it's a little bit strange at the moment. You might notice I'm like I'm able to plant hooks in the middle of the air. Uh, that probably won't be possible in the final thing. It's not really going to be a game about like Tarzan swinging around. Um, but I was the purpose of this prototype is to figure out if the movement idea I have is going to be fun. And the main ingredient to that is a grappling hook. And figuring out whether it actually works and whether it kind of interacts with the physical objects in the world <laughs> um, was an important part and it's definitely funny <laughs> it's already uh, just really fun just to swing around there are two things you can do, one is plant a grappling hook and the other is I can change the position of the player um, which lets me get nice good swings and swing onto the top of buildings and stuff which is really fun and you might notice I've, I've coded it so that every time you hit the ground you you automatically go up right um, there's also another little bit cheeky to code in here which means that when you are on the ground and you throw a grappling hook up you automatically lie down and launch yourself off the ground a little bit um, and that's because if you don't do that then as you suck yourself up your center of gravity is in the middle of like your sort of belt area I guess it would be on a human um, and you kind of topple as you leave the ground like you fall over um, so that you're no longer upright and that toppling thing is governed by Unity's physics engine but my code for attracting the rope is done by um, just manually changing the position of the, of the player so it doesn't obey normal physics. I tried doing it in normal physics and that really really doesn't work. <laughs> that super super doesn't work. Um, whereas manually changing the position does mostly work but it's a thing you're not meant to do. If you have a rigid body in Unity that means you're telling Unity to govern how it moves with its own physics engine and um, if you then manually change its position, sometimes that conflicts with what Unity is trying to do with it, and that's what happened if you launch yourself on the ground when vertical. And so you get this, you might have noticed sometimes when I'm retracting there's a little bit of judderiness, and that's when you're not rotated correctly. You're not sort of the natural way round you want to be as you suck yourself in. And that's fine, wouldn't in real life stop you from, from, getting it, from shortening your rope. But in Unity, you're toppling, and the physics engine is doing toppling, and it's sometimes toppling you in the wrong in the opposite direction to how the the rope code is trying to change you so that's causing a conflict there and that's going to be a problem um, and in fact what I figured out doing this this isn't the first approach I tried for a grappling hook the first thing I did was went on the Unity Asset Store and bought a thing called Ultimate Ropes <laughs> which is because it, it seemed like it would be a really difficult physics problem um, so I wanted to just buy someone else's solution who's already done all the hard work because uh, theirs would be way better than mine and you know they would have bug tested it and um, given it all these cool features and stuff. So I did, and they have, but it made me realise actually like a properly physically simulated rope, you know, the kind of thing that can go slack and drape over things and um, looks really realistic, is super, super um, wrong for my purpose, basically. I don't want it to go slack ever. There's no reason for the rope to go slack for mechanical reasons. Um, it should be possible to uh, like fall getting yourself in a position where you are closer to your grapple point than the rope needs you to be and that should work but I don't need it to display as a kind of hanging dangling rope um, and as soon as I start to play around with ultimate ropes just everything spazzes out just like crazy just gibbering wildly all over the place anytime any kind of force is exerted on it and really it doesn't seem like it's kind of designed for a grappling hook type thing where you're manually changing the length and stuff um, so I am gonna have I am gonna make it so that this doesn't happen so that ropes don't go through buildings and I'm pretty sure I know how to do that because actually I um, <laughs> I interviewed a guy who made a Unreal Tournament mod with a grappling hook in it. Um, it's brilliant, by the way. I think it's for Unreal Tournament 2004, and I think it's just called Grappling Hook. And it was a you know that's a first-person game, so it's um, in proper 3D, and you could fire this grappling hook into anything, and you could like shoot it into a wall and then walk six times around a tree, and it would wrap correctly around the tree, which is really cool. I've never seen that in uh, any other grappling hook game. Um, and in fact it's usually the bane of grappling hooks in games because 
uh, in like Tribes Vengeance. That's I think the only bad grappling hook I've ever used <laughs> in the single player game anyway, uh, because if it touches any level geometry it breaks. And there's a whole level where you play as a kid in that game, um, and you have to navigate through a palace using just the grappling hook. And if the grappling hook touches, like just brushes a light fitting at any point as you're swinging from it, it snaps the rope and then you fall. <laughs> That's incredibly frustrating. Um, but I asked this guy, how did you make the rope wrap, wrap so beautifully around things? How does it work so well? Um, and he told me that it's just line of sight, basically. So when the um, in this situation here, where I've plant, I placed the place I want to rope to, and I don't have a direct line of sight to it. If I do have a direct line of sight to it, then it just draws a straight line, and that's trivial. Um, but if I don't, then what it does is look for the point where line of sight was broken, and then make a new point there, and rope to that. It's almost like pathfinding, really. And it made a lot of sense when he explained it to me, and I think that's how I will end up doing it as well. Um, or my own shitty version of it. <laughs> um, so yeah, it seems like the like the actual physics I want. Uh, I do want things to tumble like that. That's really nice. Um, I do want when you're free falling. I want the Unity to take over. I want that to be done in all of its own physics engine. But when it's just you dangling from a rope, I think I can probably just code that myself. I don't really know how exactly. Like I know how to measure how far I am from the grapple point, and I know how to tell the player, um, "Hey, you've gone too far. You should be higher up." But I don't know how to kind of smoothly limit your movement in that direction exactly. There's probably some interesting equations out there that I can look up. Um, but if anyone knows how to do that, that I'd be very interested to know. Um, so yeah, I'm pretty pleased with this. This is like <laughs> for three days. Um, it's rather nice to actually work on something for you know more than two days at a time, which is what I had to do when I was working during the week. And it feels like I kind of made more progress today than I would have if I'd had a five-day break before I got back to it. Um, and to be honest, I didn't really expect to have this working in any sense for like a week. Um, so yeah, it's really interesting. I think I know I'm gonna. My next move is probably gonna be to rewrite this. <laughs> I'm probably gonna take out Unity's physics and just try and do my own way, um, and then try and get it wrapping around things. Uh, it's trivial for me to limit it so that it can't hook up to the sky, but for now I'm leaving that in because it's actually quite useful to test it and just to make sure in every situation it looks good, which right now it doesn't. <laughs> But yeah, I think it, it's, like I said, it's not going to be like a Tarzan game or anything. It's going to be more about shooting a grappling hook to the top of a building and then scaling it and getting to the top. Which right now is super, super awkward. <laughs> not working at all well. Um, but yeah, there's that. And then there's one more thing that um, I want to do with a grappling hook that I haven't seen done very much. Um, which is based on two things. One of which isn't a game, and the other of which is a game but doesn't have a grappling hook in it. <laughs> So hopefully that's cryptic enough. It's nothing like super revelatory or super like complex or anything. It's nothing like the crosslink um, in terms of the range of possible applications for it. Um, it's quite a simple thing, but I think it's going to feel really good. So I'm going to prototype that once I've got the rest of the grappling hook working well. And that's about it. Thanks for watching.